another week, and in my case, another week of rain and lots of it. So, welcome to SR Synth Weekly, and here we go. Got another great week, got another great bunch of artists uh, to showcase today, and let's get started. We're going to start out today with, and I'm going to screw it up, it's Neonin, or Neonian. Uh, it's Neonin, uh, the electronic group out of Bath, UK, and they're an awesome group. I mean, it just sounds a lot of, uh, there's a lot of slow and building sounds in this one. Uh, I'm going to use his description and I'm going to use mine. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, his, his description is slow burning electronica with nods of boards of Canada, pie corner audio, disembodied voices, haunting chants, and burbling 303s. I'm going to add to that, you know, how I like to do things with uh, movies and such like that. This is a sci-fi title. Uh, this is one of those where you just, uh, with the beginning of the movie and it gives you pumped up for the movie. It starts out, you know, a little bit and then just starts growing. This is a perfect, this is a perfect title for a sci-fi movie. Um, especially a sci-fi techn technology movie, you know, with the robotics and everything being built. That, that's a perfect, it, it's a perfect sound for that. So, uh, so check this out. Um, it's a Neonin and it's Crocobell Flowers.
doesn't that give you that that sci-fi title sign you just like you know you sit down in the theater and you're waiting and then that hits and it's and kind of perfect for that uh, next up i'm gonna go a little it's not different but it, it's it's it, it embodies the 80s and that's that's how i'd like to say it start out with uh it's <clears throat> a burkhouse snyder and they're out of Irwin, Pennsylvania. Uh, they're synth pop, Euro pop, and that's the best way to describe it. This is what you call, you know, your 80s singers, you know, with the heavy reverb and everything. And it gives you that, uh, that feeling of, you know, you go back, it's real nostalgia. You go back to that uh, 80s style of like Willie Hutch. Uh, I'll even say Pet Shop Boys on there a little bit. Uh, I know he's probably not thinking that, but, you know, just that whole vibe. Uh, uh, Willie Hutch, if, if you don't know, did the Last Dragon um, <clears throat> soundtrack song, uh, The Glow. And I, I want to say that just because it has a great sound, you know, that great 80s feel, great vocals in it. Uh, I mean, the vocals are awesome. And it just gives me that whole good 80s, you know, 80s euro pop vibe you know that uh you could you don't even have to put a movie i mean you could put a romantic comedy uh like in this case you know i would i would put like it's a romance uh the, the name of the song is no one told me uh romance died so that would you know if you want to put that into a movie you could put that in anywhere that you know like the hero and the love interest they either get back together you know like i've said many times they either get back together or they're just now splitting apart and he's trying to get her back so that's that's what i feel um if you have something different let me know because uh, i always want to know what you think too uh i mean don't be, don't be afraid to tell me what you think about the music because uh, everybody has their own opinion on it and that's just mine but uh check it out it's <clears throat> burkhouse snyder and it's no one told me romance died I'm a, I'm a.
doesn't that encompass the entire 80s feel? I mean, this, I mean, the vocals are awesome. Uh, I mean, it's just, it just kind of gives you that nostalgia, perfect 80s pop feel. Um, the singing is awesome. The range is awesome. I'll never get that range. Um, I don't sing. I sing pretty in three ways, and that's pretty bad, pretty awful, and pretty much going to stay that way. So, but other than that, the, the music is just awesome. The singing is awesome. I mean, it's just a great, great 80s feel to it. Um, and you could put that in anything that would work, uh, any kind of movie or soundtrack, and it would work perfectly. So definitely check them out. Check out more of their stuff. Uh, next up, <clears throat> we have Heartbeat Hero. And they're out of the N Netherlands, and they're a synthwave group. Just They call it Thriller Synthwave. Uh, that's the name of the song. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna paraphrase it. What they have, they have dark, they're dark wave, dark synth, atmospheric. Uh, this is a song that would be perfect for like a horror movie, a la you know the Wraith or a Charles Band movie, where the villain has come out and he's slowly uh, chasing you down. That's that's the best way I could describe that. Uh, kind of gives you that uh, even that maniac cop kind of feel. You know when he's uh, coming after you, but he's, you know, a little far away, but he's coming quickly and you're running away from it. That's, that's kind of the feel I get from it. And, uh, and it's perfect for that because it gives you that, you know, that straight, uh, synth beat, you know, that, 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 and it just gives you that he's coming at you and coming, 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 and you're not going to be able to escape. So definitely check this out. It's a heartbeat hero, thriller synth wave.
I mean, are you scared now? I mean, the the mood gives you that whole great. I'm gonna. I'm being chased. Mood, and uh, you know, you you listen to it at night, and you you put it on side. Put a movie on silence where the killer is chasing the victim, and you can you can feel it. Uh, next up, we have Newspeak eighty four. Derek Jesser. Uh, this is really. This gives me a lot of vibes, actually. Uh, kind of gives me a both eighties and nineties vibe with m- movies and music. Uh, I'm gonna put his. I'm, let me let me read his description, then I'll add mine. Uh, Surveillance State is the name of the song, and it really gets into the core of music <clears throat> of the group message that we are currently living in a dystopian world closer to George Orwell's vision of 1984 than most realize or like to admit. This latest track is on the harder side of synth, close to groups such as Nin, Division, Skinny Puppy Ministry. Um, it's He calls it an EDM industrial agrotech. Um, I agree a little bit. But I want to put my spin on it because, you know, I like to do the movie type stuff. Uh, this is your 80, late 80s, early 90s type. Um, sorry. Uh, your early 80s, 90s type where this is a title sequence or the thing where you have the robots being built or the computers being programmed. And... Uh, you know, all you see is all, all you see is the machinery building the uh, robot, or you know, upgrading the person into a robot. Uh, a la Nemesis slash, uh, you know, any any kind of movie like that where a robot's being built, or you know, everything, and it's kind of like a you know, that dark horror dystopian feel. Uh, that's what I get from it, and the the song's awesome all the way around, and it just gives you that you know, it just builds and builds, and then it you know, it just gives you that whole uh, rounded area. So definitely check it out. Uh, Tell me what you think, because, you know, I give you my views on everything, uh, because I like using the, like I said, I like using movies and and older music uh, back in the nostalgia area. But let me know, because, I mean, I'm leaning towards, you know, like Nemesis, uh, if you've seen that, or even uh, Chopping Mall, you know, where they're building the robots. And even in a couple of times, I was thinking, actually, uh, and now I've lost the movie. <laughs> uh, now I forgot the name of the movie. Uh, but it's where, you know, where everybody's either jacking into the system, kind of like, you know, tech war stuff. But just let me know what you think and just uh, give me your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, this is, uh, <clears throat> sorry, check it out. It's uh, Newspeak 84 Surveillance State. Thank you. 
I mean, what did you think? I mean, did it give you that feeling? Um, like I said, it, it gives me that kind of like thriller feel, uh, feel, you know, a, a technological sci-fi horror type. Uh, it's, it's really awesome. I mean, uh, it's, I like the, I like the song. I like the way the beat's set up. Uh, I even like the way the, uh, the snares, you know, does a dot, 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 you know, it just gives me that, kind of gives me that whole vibe of, you know, things being built, um, even in, you know, even at the worst times. So, I mean, definitely check out the rest of his stuff. It's awesome. Uh, next up, this is Wave Doctor. <laughs> and, uh, it's also Wave Doctor and Bonnie Legion, but, uh, this one is a little different because I've kind of, it's kind of branched out. It kind of, it's still that electronic synthy heavy feel, <clears throat> but I'm going to put one step closer. Uh, he puts 120 bit alternative dance, electronic rock. I want to add a little bit because I've, stu I, I did this a little while too. Um, I'm going to add the term steampunk. Uh, and I know that's a kind of an odd statement, um, you know, you synth and everything, but the steampunk genre it kind of coalesces with you know the synth wave and you know different things because it's it's a lot of different you know older uh, a lot of different sounds you know mold together for a certain genre of music or even a certain genre of writing uh, steampunk you know if you don't know it's like going back night if uh, if the world had never gone past the never made it to the nuclear stage I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm I'm wrong I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, it never made to, it made it never made it past the uh, transistor stage and tubes, and everything is still uh, you know like uh, computers are steam made and stuff like that. And I don't know if that's I don't know if that's what he's going for, but that's what I feel. I'm I'm going for you know the sound. Uh, the song is called Bees to Honey, and it's really awesome. I mean the song itself is just awesome itself, but it kind of gives me that dancey. Uh, you know, tune for like a steampunk movie where the, uh, cause it kind of gives you that like 50s, 60s nostalgia too, mixed in with the modern today. Um, kind of like a, those old timey, uh, Carolina dance type. Uh, but on a movie side, I want to say that's kind you know, you put that into like a steampunkish movie, uh, where technology is either gone or it never made it past a certain era, but we're in the future you know, and like, you know, like blimps and stuff. Um, I may be totally wrong and that's not what, he, not, not what they're going for, but that's just what I feel. Um, it's, it's just, I mean, the song itself is awesome, but it's, it's, it encompasses so many different ways you can go with it. Um, and I chose the steampunk just because, you know, that's, you could put that in there. You could put that with, you know, everybody in the older time, uh, uh, you know, thirties, forties, uh, garments and everything. But it kind of gives you that, you know, futuristic vibe. You know, they're still futuristic, but they're still stuck in, you know, visually in the in the 19th century. So uh, check it out. It's <clears throat> it's Wave Doctor and Bonnie Legion, and the song is called Bees to Honey.
I mean, what did you think? I mean, it gives, it gives me that feel of the, you know, like I said, it just gives me that steampunk feel. So um, if I'm totally off base on it, uh, just let me know. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm just giving what I feel. So let me know your opinions down below and just let me, let me know what you think. Uh, next up, I have MK Khan. And I had to say that slow because I don't sneeze. <laughs> Uh, the song is, I'm sorry, MK Kong, they're a synth group out of uh, Los Angeles. The song is called Beach Drive, and it gives me that whole, yeah, it gives me that whole uh, feel. Uh, he says, speeding down the Pacific Highway into the wild blue. I agree 100% on that. I mean, that is an, this is a one, what I would call an outro song. Uh, what I mean by outro song is like the it's the end of the movie. Everybody's happy. It's about to hit credits, you know uh, Everybody, you know happy ending kind of deal Everybody's got together and they're either leaving or walking off into the sunset right before the credits hit um, This is definitely one of those feel, you know, it's a feel-good song and it's real You know, they just you know, it's just kind of like this is the end everybody's happy and uh, roll credits so that's that's one of the things that I uh, I feel like um, it could also be you know one of those after after climax happy happy times, uh, but I mean the song itself is just beyond awesome. So give it a give it a listen and let me know what you think. Uh, and also follow all these people uh, uh, on their accounts that are below because they uh, they want your follow, they want your love like uh, like I'm trying to get, show them the love. So make sure you're following them on, on the social media and on their uh, own websites. Again, here's a MP, MK Kong, Khan, <clears throat> and it's Beach Drive. I mean, that gives you that whole outro feel, doesn't it? 
I, I don't really have much else to say after that. I mean, it, it's a great it's a great outro song, and it's a great song altogether. I mean, it's just one of those happy things you just can listen to over and over. So definitely check out the rest of his music and just uh, let me know let me know what you think about it. Last up, oh no, we're at the end. Uh, we have Very Brave Men out of Berkeley, California. The song is called Chances. Uh, his description is, uh, think of this one as audio tribute to the 80s movie montage. Yes, that is, that is perfect, perfectly said. Uh, this song is like, I'm sorry, uh, like Burkhouse Snyder, this song just encompasses the 80s sound. Uh, you know, the vocals, again, the vocals are out there, you know, in another level. And it's just really, it's just really great. I want to put, you know, like I always say, I, you know, I want to put this in a cop movie. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just kind of one of those buddy cop movies or the cop movie where, you know, the love interest has shown up after all this time and they're, and they're catching up. So, and he gives him chances. So, I mean, it just gives me that kind of feel, a lot of other, it gives me a lot of other feels, but that's where I'm leaning towards right now. Um, I'm probably based way off, but it kind of gives you that, uh, what if I told you, you know, you have chances, you know, you have a chance, and it just kind of gives you that, and when somebody, you know, when they're trying to fix something with each other, and you know, there's no real dialogue in the background, they're just either staring or trying to fix something, and you can just feel the two tensions. I'm sorry, the tension uh, between the two just leveling off, and you can see them coming close. That's kind of what I feel on it. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, it's the, I know all of it, but uh, I don't know all of it. What am I saying? Uh, the, the vocals on it just make everything perfect, and uh, I couldn't really put a real... There's so many bands that are in there, like you said, a montage, so I want to just leave it like that. Uh, let me know what you think, and let me know the where you think it could fit down below. Um, again, it's a Very Brave Men, and it's Chances.
need it. I just thought of another one too. Um, this is one of those dance club kind of songs. Uh, before I before I forget, this is one of those dance club kind of songs that just kind of get you toe tapping while you know in the background you have a bunch of people gathered together trying to get together. That's uh, like a love interest or the gangs all there. You know, gangs meeting up. That that popped in my head too while I was thinking about it uh, between songs. But uh, I hope you like it. I mean. Like I said, the song is awesome and the vocals are just out of this world. So uh, let me know what you think below and let them know. I mean, don't just let me know. Let them know. So I hope uh, and just give them and show them your love too. That's it for this week. Uh, again, I appreciate everybody's love and appreciation of everybody's views on this. Uh, hopefully I can have a lot more and I'm going to be doing a lot more soon. Uh, I'm just trying to get everything still together. Um, because of lack of money, <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta have money to do things. Uh, I found out. So, <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I appreciate it. Make sure to follow everybody uh, that's played today and all my on all, on all my uh, past episodes, and make sure the you know you're following them and their websites, their social media, because they have lots of great music, and you need to, and I swear you need to you know you didn't need to hear it uh, because everything they come out with is awesome. Uh, don't forget to follow me on, on my social media, which is also down below. Um, also, like and subscribe, uh, and make sure you hit that bell so you know when the new uh, episodes come out, not just, through, not just through my social media. So, because um, YouTube, YouTube doesn't always, you know, keep it, keep it uh, together on, on your main page. So, make sure you hit that bell to make sure you get notified. Uh, anyway, I appreciate it. Um, also, before I forget, don't forget to follow uh, RadioDarkTunnel.net. Um, he's, he's got a live show coming too on his YouTube page, um, which I'm going to be adding below, and, and his uh, website, RadioDarkTunnel.net. So make sure you follow them. Um, I appreciate it. I uh, hope everybody has a great week, and I hope this uh, helps your week go a little bit more smoother. Talk to you later. Bye.